watching that guy. I wasn't sure what he was doing. Uh, what's up everybody? Welcome to my first commute chat of 2024. It's early February and it's cold. Uh, no surprise there I guess. I just thought maybe the south would be warmer. I don't know. I feel like I've said that for the last two years though. And that's never been the case. Anyway, uh, today it's early February. It's February 2nd, Groundhog Day. Love that movie. Uh, it's supposed to be 55. We'll see about that. Right now it's probably about 35, 30, something like that. It's cold, not cold enough for me to wear my winter riding pants. Um, bike is running good. I'm on the XR150. She was a little cold. I uh, didn't put any stabilizer in the tank or anything because I use gas without ethanol and blah, blah, blah. I started every now and again. Anyway. I didn't, and uh, it took a little while to get her warmed up, but it's running good. I'm surprised. We're in Asheville. We're down near Carrier Park right now. A couple people out walking their dogs. And there's a new little section right here where they made it so you don't have to do the sketchy sidewalk along the road with a fence anymore. So now there's this whole new little section right here. So you can jog, bike, walk whatever you're doing through this park and you don't have to like zigzag across where cars are pulling in so that's cool they needed to do that that kind of thing needs to happen this is a dangerous place to ride a bicycle especially if you end up having to ride in the street or something and so it has been a few months since i have done a commute chat and i'm aware of that um, lots is new in my life. Uh, between October and December, we were uh, dealing with some family stuff and just making sure that my grandfather was taken care of and that he got from Tennessee up to Pennsylvania with my parents and he is there now. Got him there near Christmas time and that was cool. Um, around Christmas, I went home, spent like 10 days at home with my parents and my sister and my grandfather and uh it was a good time it was nice to be home nice to be back in pennsylvania uh i didn't do much riding between basically like october and now i really didn't ride at all um just with all the family stuff going on but uh definitely stoked to get back on the motorcycle very it feels very comfortable to be back on it feel right at home makes me happier riding to and from work to be completely honest um what else oh at the end of december i don't know i didn't ask him if i could talk about this but i'm going to anyway because i'm sure he won't care but uh tyler broke his collarbone when he was riding and uh yeah he's been he's been laid up for a little bit but he just recently bought he sold his ktm and he just recently bought a honda crf 450 and so he is a Honda boy now as well. And I can't wait to see that thing and ride with him this year. That's going to be cool. That thing looks like it's a beast. He said it's super powerful. Fuel injected. You know, all the blingy stuff. LED headlights. Blah, 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 blah. And yeah, that's pretty cool, I think. Uh, oh, I bought a truck. I posted a video like two weeks ago. Just kind of a little introductory video into it. But I bought a 2007 Honda Ridgeline. That's not a truck! That's not a real truck! It's not body on frame! What are the benefits of body on frame versus unibody? Who freaking cares, dude? Shut up, man. God, yeah, it's not a real truck. Okay. God, dude. Nobody's trying to sell you on it. I'm just showing you what I bought. 
Yeah, I want you to go out and buy a 2007 Honda Ridgeline with 150,000 miles. <laughs> These people are such babies. But anyway, I like it. I think it's cool. I needed something to move my motorcycles that wasn't a little rack on my, uh, my little Kia Sportage that was in the process of dying. And, uh... So I found a good deal on a Honda Ridgeline, and I traded the Kia in, and I bought it. And it needed some, like, cosmetic love. Like, I had to fix a couple of the interior things, and I put a CarPlay stereo and a backup camera in it. And it's nice now. It's a nice, like, daily driver to and from work. And it'll be nice to haul my motorcycles and mountain bikes to Florida to ride with Tyler, or to Pennsylvania to ride with my dad. Or to just go explore by myself and camp in the woods. I guess basically, I'm excited. And yes, it's not a body on frame pickup truck, but it can tow the same amount as a Toyota Tacoma. Why didn't you buy a Tacoma? Toyota, million mile club. Because the Tacomas have no room in the back for passengers. The seats don't flip up. They're not comfortable for a tall person like myself. And I'm a Honda boy, tried and true. I was trying to get a Honda Element, and I didn't. I bought a Ridgeline. Alright, more after this stoplight. So, I'm trying to figure out ways to differentiate this channel and this, these videos that I make this coming year. And I definitely started off, like, uh, well, uh, mirroring, mimicking. Uh, people that I watched and liked and that's cool and I've put my own original spin on things I feel like and I edit things in different ways than other people but I'm always trying to improve and make these videos better for the people watching them and so I want these to be entertaining this year and I think one of the things that I need to be better at is letting my real personality shine through and so I guess what I'm saying is prepare for sarcasm because that's a language I'm well versed in. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna try and not be so polished. Um, yeah, I don't know. It's a weird thing. That's like when actors retire and they come out and they're like, I'm retiring. It's like, why are you telling us this? We don't care. I still need to stop into Cycle Bits and see what's going on in there. John, one of my Honda Trail buddies, told me that that place is sick, so I gotta stop by and see what's going on in there. I'm looking forward to hanging out with those dudes soon, John and Josh. I think we're planning a trip. Don't want to talk too much about it because I want it to happen and I want it to be a surprise when it does. Oh, but the real question at hand is, what motorcycle should I ride this year? I have a CT125 and I have this nice XR150, but I'm looking for something silly to ride. I'm looking for something that's gonna be interesting and make people interested in watching these videos. Something to work on that I can do instructional stuff with. And What should it be? I was thinking like an old scrambler or something weird and small, smaller than the CT125 even. I don't know. If you guys have any ideas or opinions on what would be interesting to you to see me ride on all of these forest service roads and maybe on some light trail stuff, drop me a comment down below. I'd like to know. But, uh, I'm almost at my work here. We'll keep this commute chat rolling after I get out of work. It'll be kind of like dusk at that point. It'll be like five or something. But we'll film then. Oh my god, all these cars in my way. Alright guys, I'll be back with you in just one second.
Man, it is beautiful tonight. It feels like it's 60 degrees like they said it was gonna be. Gosh, this is nice. Gonna take the parkway home. It's my favorite time of year to ride the parkway because it's not super busy with tourist traffic. This is just people commuting and going out hiking. I really prefer this. Oh, okay. What if we stall out at the light? So I kind of feel like I should clarify something that I said earlier, which was about riding another motorcycle this year. Um, I'm still gonna ride the XR 150 and the CT 125. I just wanna have like a fun project. I like to tinker, I like to work on stuff, I like to research. So like having a weird little like, just funky motorcycle or something would be pretty sick. I'm not sure what I want it to be though. Like I have a Honda CB350 and I could very well get that running, but it's obviously a street motorcycle and my whole thing is riding forest service roads and stuff like that. So I'm not sure that would be ideal. Uh, a CL like 360 or 175, like that would be cool because it's an old motorcycle and it's a scrambler and it'd be fun to beat up something like that off road and uh, you know, ride with other people with that. It'd just be unique. And I think that's, that's kind of what I'm going for is I want to do something unique to me. So. That's all I meant by riding something else. So I'm not sure that I'll be bringing back the 360 videos. I don't know, nobody seemed to really enjoy it all that much. And honestly, it's kind of hard to edit it all together to have it look nice for longer format videos and stuff like that. If you like it, drop me a comment and let me know. I'll gladly keep doing it since I own the camera, but uh, if not, I think I'm going to move on to something else. I've been looking at like different cameras just to try and up the quality of this whole thing. I feel like a lot of this turns out pretty well, honestly, with the GoPro and the Media Mod. I think this quality looks good. Uh, it's off the bike stuff that's a challenge. I don't know. What's the river look like? Eh, it's back down. It was pretty high. We got like a ton of rain. It was like pretty much up near its banks through this section of uh, Asheville for a couple days. Well guys, that's gonna be it for me. Thanks for watching, stay tuned. If it gets nice out, I'll have more videos, more riding videos, exploring, adventuring, camping, the works. I don't know, just looping, looping for the heck of looping. All right guys, thanks for watching and I will catch you later, bye. Are you barking at my motorcycle? What are you barking at? Hi girl. Hi, you're in the video. You're in the video, say hi. You guess it? Say hi. Woof. 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 You gotta say hi. <laughs>